So today we will see how to use rowwise command in dplyr to do rowwise sums. And if you don't use it, what happens? Let's see. So the first thing is we need some libraries, the dplyr library, the flex table library. This is just to display the data on the screen. And the table, I'm going to use this to create our dummy data. So let's create some dummy data. So I'm creating some data for some customer IDs and their cost one and cost two. So we have five customers. Let's view this data on the screen using flex table. So five customers and then we have cost one and cost two for each customer. And our objective is to sum this cost one and cost two for each of these customers. So let's see how we do that. So let me clear the screen first and start now. So in dplyr, we will write the command to create a new column called total, where we'll say cost one and cost two. So let's see this result on the screen. By the way, we have detailed videos on how to use dplyr. You can watch them also. So we have done the summation of the column and the column total seems to be right. It's, it has summed the cost one and cost two for each customer. Now, we'll try to do it slightly differently. I'm going to use the sum command and saying sum of the cost one and cost two. Now let's see what happens. Here is the data. The total seems to be the same in all the columns. So what has happened is the system has summed up the complete cost one column and the complete cost two column and then summed it up. That's not what we wanted. We wanted a row wise total for each of those clients. So now I'm going to modify our previous command by adding this row wise command in between and see what happens. So if I view the data using flex table, this time we get the correct total. The total is for each customer ID. So 10 plus 10 equals 20 and so on. So this is how we use row wise. So if you have anything which you want to do on each row, you got to use the row wise command. Otherwise, you'll get wrong results. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.